guys, what's up? Since a lot of you are going to high school soon and some of you are already starting high school, I wanted to make this video to give you some tips on how to survive high school. Hopefully after watching this, you will get a brief idea of how high school life is like. I'm not going to talk about the academic aspect here because I've made plenty of videos about that topic already. You can check the description box below for the links to those videos if you would like to watch them. I'll be discussing more about the social life and the general things you will need to know about high school other than studying. Well then, let's start! It's completely okay to feel nervous about your first day of school, but you also have to remember that everyone else is in the same position as you. The students in your grade are most likely as nervous as you are, so knowing that you're not alone in this situation will hopefully keep you from being too anxious on your first days of school. Don't beat yourself up if you don't make friends immediately on your first few days of school. Not everyone is outgoing and not everyone is the life of a party. However, if you want to make new friends quickly, then you have to make effort even if you're a very shy person who is not very good at socializing. A great tip to quickly meet new people and make new friends in your high school is to go to your orientation. Other than getting to know your classes and your teachers, the orientation week is a great chance for you to meet new friends ahead of time. I remember meeting my very first friend on the very first day of orientation. Our meeting was very random and it kind of went like this. Blah 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 new students, blah 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 bright future, blah 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 study hard. Blah, what the heck blah, is he blah, talking blah, about? Blah, blah, I have blah, no blah, idea. Lol, lol. It's actually very easy to meet new friends once you try to approach them. You can't expect other people to make the first move all the time. I know, it can be very difficult for those of you who are very shy. I understand because I was a very shy and quiet person too back in school. And what gave me the courage to be the one to talk to people first was I faked my confidence. Yes, that's right. Fake it until you become it. I acted as if I was a very outgoing person from the very start and that way it made it easier for me to approach other students without feeling very self-conscious about myself. And another tip is, don't think too much. Don't be afraid and think that people are going to refuse to talk to you because everyone else is most likely as nervous as you are at making new friends. Everyone wants to be approached but not everyone is brave enough to do it. So why don't you just be that person who makes the first move? That girl who sits next to you? Smile at her and introduce yourself to her. Ask her what middle school she went to. Talk about that cute senior you saw earlier at the hallway. People will appreciate your initiative and will most likely welcome you with open arms. Don't be afraid of upperclassmen. They are not going to beat you up for no reason, so just relax a bit. They were once freshmen too, so they are not going to give you a crap merely because you're new. Just remember to respect them. Don't act like a snob, don't act like you own the place, and don't start drama with them, and they will surely leave you alone to mind your own business. Don't worry about being popular and don't worry about fitting in with the in crowd. Those things won't matter once you are out of high school. If you are popular with the students in your high school, then that's great. If you're not, then that's also great. Just be friends with the people you're comfortable being with. Don't change yourself to fit in with the people who won't even be your friends anymore once you're out of school. Don't cave into negative peer pressure. I said negative because I believe not all peer pressure is bad. I for one was pressured to study harder because everyone in my class was always studying, even during breaks, so that was a good peer pressure for me. Negative peer pressure is something like smoking, underage drinking, doing drugs, skipping class, bullying, breaking the laws, basically everything that your conscience is telling you not to do. If your friends are pressuring you to do something that you don't want to do, even after you refuse to do it, then just leave them. There are other friends who will suit your principles better and you will find those friends in your high school if you look hard enough. Don't let your romantic relationship take over your life. High school is the time to have fun with your friends and experience a lot of things with them. If you become too engrossed in being in a relationship with your girlfriend or boyfriend, you will miss out on a lot of fun things that you will only experience in high school. It's completely fine to be in a relationship, but just don't let it keep you from making new friends and spending time with other people. I've seen students who spend most of their time at school with their boyfriend or girlfriend, and once they broke up, they ended up having no friends at all. Don't be that kind of person, it's for your own sake. If you get bullied in high school, don't keep it to yourself and suffer on your own. Tell other people about it. Tell your parents or your teachers. If you don't tell anyone, then they are not going to know what you're going through. You might think that you are all alone, but you're not. There are people who will be willing to help you. You can even tell your friends about it. If your friends are the ones who are bullying you, then just stop being friends with them and go find some new ones. It might be easier said than done, but I've been there and I did all the things that I mentioned before and it honestly worked. Other than telling the adults about it, you have to be able to stand up for yourself as well. Don't let the bullies drag you around in the dirt. Who the hell are they making your high school life miserable? 
Don't let their foolishness affect your life. There was once this guy in my class who kept calling me names and making fun of me. He often told me that I looked like a cat who drowned in a lake. I didn't even know what that meant, but I definitely knew that it was offensive. I kept quiet at first, but after reaching the final straw, I finally looked at him in the eyes and said, Why do you keep calling me that? You think you're so good looking, huh? <laughs> you're not. I honestly think that he didn't see it coming and he never expected me to do that because he was immediately silent after that and all of the students around us were like oh! <sighs> I felt so satisfied From my experience, bullies usually target those who are afraid of them They are usually looking for a reaction like fear or embarrassment because they like to appear superior compared to those who seem weaker than them if you don't give them the reaction that they want, if you just appear bored whenever they make fun of you, if you don't let their insults get under your skin, they will eventually stop messing with you sooner or later. If they spread rumors about you, pay no heed to it. Rumors will die quickly if you pay no attention to it at all. Remember to always be proactive and not reactive. You are the one who is in charge of your life, not them. If you've tried doing all the things I've mentioned before and you are still getting bullied, remember that high school is not forever. It's just a teeny tiny fraction of your life. Once you leave high school, you won't even see those bullies ever again. They'll probably even regret how immature they were being when they were still in high school, and they will even regret the way they treated you back then. Use your bitter bullying experience as a motivation to do better than those who bully you. We will see in 5 years who is successful in life and who is not. Getting bad grades is not the end of the world. Even the smartest students in my class had gotten math grades before. If you get one, it doesn't mean that you'll fail at life. Just take the remake test and study harder for your next test. What will get you in trouble is having bad grades consistently and doing nothing to improve them. So don't give up and don't get depressed over one C or D. Study harder next time and you will be fine. Respect your teachers. Don't get into an argument with them and don't talk back to them. Even if you know that your teacher is wrong about something, don't tell them off and correct them in front of the whole class. Some teachers may be okay with it, but most of them may not. There were times when my teachers thought the wrong thing to the class, but I didn't correct them because it would make them feel embarrassed and I knew that they would dislike me because of it. Once a teacher dislikes you, it will be harder to get good grades from them. So respect your teachers and give a good impression of yourself. If you really must correct them from the mistake that they made in class, then be sure to do it in private. Wait until the class has ended and then talk to your teacher about it. Tell them politely what you think the right answer should be and if they are open-minded enough, hopefully they won't be angry at your input. Finally, enjoy your high school life. It's a great thing to study hard, but don't forget to have fun with your friends as well. You will only experience high school once, so be sure to make the most out of it. So those were some of the tips that I could share with you guys regarding high school. I hope you found them useful to you. If you're going into high school, then good luck! I'm sure you'll have lots of fun with your new friends there. By the way guys, thank you very much for those of you who have submitted your back to school related questions on my last video. If some of you still have some questions regarding school, then feel free to leave them in the comment box below and I will hopefully be able to answer them in my next video. So that's all from me today guys, thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for those of you who have subscribed to me. If you haven't, then please be sure to click on the shiny subscribe button below. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed watching it and I will see you on my next one. Have a nice day everyone, bye bye!